let's all make the world a better place. Let's all tell stories, our stories, so we can help people and uplift them and educate them and open conversations and also illuminate and lift your heart because as a creative, we need to create. And this shipping, getting out the door is what I am now doing the next two weeks, much as I'm like, really? Hi, this is Marisha Trembetska for my Love Your Creativity and Make Money podcast. And this week's podcast, which I'm recording on December the 4th, 2020, is asking you really, and also reflecting on the questions myself about why I have decided to release a book in the next two weeks. Um, and the re- it's not this is not a plug for my book as such, although obviously great if you get that, but it's more about the thought processes and me, where am I stopping myself just getting my art out there into the world? And by when I say art, I obviously mean whatever kind of creative format you like to produce in, be it painting, be it a film, be it music, shows, etc. The whole gamut of what creativity can mean to you. It could even be a new piece of software, right? So, so these are the questions I'm asking myself. I'm just going to really just pop through them quickly so you can go back and listen to these. And then I'm going to talk through them in a bit more detail. But really, this is to kind of go to you. Is there some kind of piece of work you can get out before Christmas or for the new year? And how I'm trying to override the, oh, but it's too difficult, etc. Because we all have loads of projects that we've thought about, which are in various stages of birth, let's say that, right? That we have ideas like, oh, one time would I like to do that? Or there's projects we've got quite far forward with and then have failed to maybe sell. Maybe it's a film script. Maybe it's a... It's a, for me, like maybe it's a show that's toured and I can't tour it. What's the next way forward on that? There's always different things we can do with art and move it forward. And we always know how to make a piece of art, I feel, at the very end when we've done it. I mean, I make shows. As in, I come up with the idea, I come up with the character idea. I have amazing um, team around me. But it's always me financing, me trusting in my gut, me going, I'm going to make time for this particular project and get it out. So I'm going to quote Seth Godin, who you'll no doubt know, um, if not Google him. Um, The digital marketing guru makes a lot of sense, but he always says ship it, ship it. I'm going to really badly phrase this wrong, but ship it, ship it often, ship it badly, just ship it. Just get the work out the door. So these are my questions I'm asking you and myself. One, what is a thing? What is a project that even if it's not the full thing, a small amount of it, you can get out the door so people can look at it now? What is the project? Can you, if it's not, if it's not a whole project you want to get, it, you, there's more you need to do. Is there a, a sliver of it that you can get out the door now instead of a whole exhibition, one photo or one painting instead of a whole album, one song? You know, we we tend to always want the massive version instead of the whole feature film a trailer so is there a bit of it you can get out quickly rather than having to spend the next six months or in me i'm like i'll do that when i know what i'm doing which i never seem to (laughs) i never seem to know what i'm doing (laughs) the learning's always in the doing right why why are you doing this why are you doing it for yourself what are you going to achieve if you get it out the door beyond an amazing feeling of of satisfaction right why you why you wanted to get this particular piece done maybe ahead of others or what what is it is there a a reason is there a something you need to say and i because i think in most artists they we've really got something to say in our own particular ways right so what are you trying to say and also what really important what do you think by giving this or allowing this piece of work out in the world what how do you think he can impact people you know what is the impact you're trying to make and you could go further and go, okay, and who is this for? What kind of people is this, you know, what kind of audience is this for? Very specifically. Right, next bit. Marketing. How am I marketing it? Well, just the mere fact that I'm saying two weeks does not give me time to market. I would argue, though, that I've been doing my podcast for a while. A lot of people know me from my creative work. I've been doing this for about 20 years. So I'm not really doing the fact I'm about to release my uh, Get Your Art in Gear book. I'm not going to get into that, into into some ma- major marketing thing right now, especially ahead of Christmas. But I, I have certainly done some, it, just because my life is about doing that. I have brands that keep on moving. 
So let's have a quick think about marketing. How are you going to market it? Who can you, what friends can you contact, right? About, oh, I'm going to do this thing. Can you help? Can you at least share it on Instagram? Just kind of go reach out to some people because see what your network, how they can support you. Now, is it finished? What stage of your work? Is it finished? Is it nearly finished? Is it nowhere near finished and you can just do a little bit of it? I just would encourage you to take whatever sliver you can and get it out there. Is it in a place where you need to do the edit? Now, as we know, edit of work is a nightmare. (laughs) And often editing can take years. Where my shows have started versus where they've finished is very different. Often when I'm making work, I'm not quite sure. And often you'll need an external eye to get... uh, um, You know, I always have people whose opinions I respect see my work in various stages... But there is always one bit you can put out to the world because without people being able to look at it and make comments on it, how do you know? Just get some ideas out in the world is what I suggest. You'd always be surprised on the one idea that you think this is bonkers that does work. Okay, my singing psychic character is (laughs) an example of that. So what action can you take now? And then just decide and just, just get on with it. It's so easy to get over big pictures and this idea of just shipping it and getting it out the door one of my chapters in my book is decide and do i know you go right this is a thing i'm picking this thing right now and getting this done you'll feel better for having finished it even if it's just a small um sliver of what will be the eventual finished work you know we have so many ways through social media and to kind of show work and build communities that just just honestly get the work done so the why is i want to empower others i really want to empower others to be motivated and have more tools and understand the budgeting about how to make your own work even if you've got zero budget to having a little and there's always more we we need a community of people going come on if you've got this mad idea or this this story you you, only you can tell let's do it so my my book in terms of the format i'm just going to get it done the next two weeks i'm going to make it a priority do i have the time for it no am i going to make the time yeah Seriously, that's I know me, and it's just a matter of that. The book is largely finished. I've written, it's written, but it's just I need to just, and I'm in the process of editing various bits. And marketing, as I said, normally I'm really big on marketing, but on this I'm just like, let's just get it out the door. I'm bored and of 2020. Let me let me end with at least I got this done. Big. It's not about the money coming in. Although, obviously, I will be charging a reasonable amount for it because it's 20 years of my knowledge. But I just think it's super important. So, so that's my view of the day. If you'd like to work with me, uh, you can, uh, as an actor, you can contact my agent. Uh, if you want to book the incredible Singing Psychic for a customised, branded, unique event where she reads the songs in your heart and maybe plays Psychic Bingo with you all, then... Um, Again, contact me through my uh, at Marisha T on Instagram, Twitter, etc. Just ship it. Find something, a little sliver of a piece of work, even if it's a tiny little bit of a massive lot, and just get it done. When I first came up with the idea of the singing psychic, it was literally, I think now, 14 years ago. And I, I, made, I came with the idea. It was a little sketch. Then it was a little bit of a tiny little film I made for class. Then it was... And then it was a 10-minute version. And then it was, oh, let me go into a workshop and let's devise it. And then it was a 20-minute version. Then it was six hours of one-on-one solo performance of me in character reading cards as a singing psych. Then it was an hour show. Then it was a touring show. Then it was another version of the show. Then it was, and, then, and during that, it's also been, when I did the first one-hour show, I also released the first video of her, which is a, who to date if you want more of a Fifty Shades of Grey relationship. You can find it. I'll, I'll link it. It's basically, it's amazing. It's my first little video to sing psychic. It, I made it in um, February 2015. And I still go, oh, I mean, brilliantly filmed. No, it was in the corner of my friend's hallway. <laughs> Literally. Um, but my God, you know what? I got it done. So ship it. Go on, make it. Let's get it. Come on, let's make it. Let's all Let's all make the world a better place. Let's all tell stories, our stories, so we can help people and uplift them and educate them and open conversations and also illuminate and lift your heart because as a creative, we need to create. And this shipping, getting out the door is what I am now doing the next two weeks, much as I'm like, really, really, bitch? Uh, That's what I'm thinking to myself. (laughs) But 
um, it's got to be done for me, for others, for... So there we are. That's my invitation to you. Decide and do. Come on, let's, get, let's all get some bit of art out that people can buy between now and the end of the year, right? And don't forget to charge for it. I'm going to insist you charge for it. <laughs> okay, lovely. Speak to you soon. I'm Marisha Trimbetsko. Yeah.